Okay, I'm joined today by Louis Tondo from Coro Mining. Louis, copper's hot right now. Why should I own Coro? Nice to meet you, Jeff. I'm very pleased to be here to tell you about Coro. Coro is an exploration company that started in 2015 and now is evolving to be a copper producer in Chile. Um, we, we think uh, we've got all the assets and we have a very good plan to take this company to start producing up to 30,000 tons of, co of copper cathode in the next three to five years. So it's a very exciting story that is in the market. I see you've come out with the intent of doing a definitive feasibility study. You're moving to production. What do investors have to get excited about? How can they make money on this? So as part of the plan to reach to the 30,000 tons of copper produ production that I'm just mentioning, uh, we just put uh, yesterday three press releases that talk exactly about uh, what we are doing right now and what we, the, the investor can expect for the future. First of all, we are consolidating our production in our Berta and Nora site. We are ramping up to a production of uh, uh, 5,000 tons of copper per year, which we should get uh, by end of this year. And in parallel, we started the definitive feasibility study for our flagship project, which is Marimaca. So what should investors be watching for as far as the news flow is concerned? Okay, so the idea is to finish the definitive feasibility study for Marimaca towards the end of this year, quarter one next year. And with that, uh, we'll probably define the financing, uh, the money that we need to take that into production as early as possible. And by early as possible, I'm talking about end of next year, beginning of 2019, where we've recently also acquired the Ivan plan which together with the mine site of Marimaca um, will permit us to start uh, producing uh, copper cathode of up to 10,000 tons per year. So with the production from Berta and the production from, from Marimaca will be in the 15,000 range in the short term. How do you find Chile as a jurisdiction to work in? Chile traditionally is a mining country, so it has got all the tradition for miners to, to get in there. Uh, it's very um, friendly for foreign investment. The regulations are very well understood. So I think it's a very safe environment for companies like Coro to develop their business. So you're finding them supportive in what you're trying to do? Yes, for sure. Uh, we, and plus we've got uh, lots of uh, expertise in country that we can use. For instance, we are using right now a Chilean company to develop our feasibility study. And the, the people that we use are also mostly from Chile. So we are, I think we, we are well uh, served and prepared to take the company forward. With the volume of copper you're talking about producing over the next three years, you become a pretty important producer in that area. Would you see yourself being an acquirer or would you see yourself being a target? Well, uh, I think uh, once we got to the level of 30,000 up to 50,000 tons of copper producer, obviously we are now uh, already reaching a level where we will be a mid-tire producer and there may be opportunities to, you know, to have some uh, M&A opportunities that we can consider. Louis, thank you very much for coming in and giving us an update on Coro and we'll be excited to watch it moving forward in the market. Thank you very much for the opportunity and as I said, I think uh, we've got uh, the resources, the people and a very good plan where we're going to go from what we are today up to the level of production that we are aiming at.